Have you taken any drugs, either legal or illegal, within the past 24 hours? No, sir. Have you consumed any alcohol within the past 12 hours? No, sir. Have you taken any prescribed medication within the last 24 hours? No, sir. Do you have a prescription for Xanax? No, sir. Wait, and give me a chance to um, object, okay? Okay. That's fine. All of your answers to be loud and clear. Do you understand? Yep. Yes? Yes. Okay, and I need your affirmative answers to be yes and the negative responses to be no. Do you understand? No. You don't understand? Let me explain it to you. No, no I, I don't think you, you said that correctly. You want him to answer every question, yes or no? Yeah. No. Well, affirmative responses and negative responses. If they call for a yes or no, I need you to answer yes or no. Do you understand? Yes. Well, I don't think... He can choose to answer it a different way, that's fine. But I, what I'm trying to avoid, sir, is for you to say uh-huh or uh-uh. Because even though we have you on video, the court reporter is still taking down a record, and we need an accurate record. And those types of responses are difficult for her to be able to take down. So that's why I need a yes or a no, or something else that's as clear as those sorts of words. Do to, you understand? To be clear what the counsel is saying. Well, wait a second. I asked no, 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 him. No. I, there's a pending question. If he doesn't in, understand the no, question... Sir, you're not going to be able to talk over me today. Well, I, just, well, I want to make it clear. Me, this is my deposition. I've asked him. There's a pending question. Question. But and he, this, is, this is what's this is what's going to happen. He's going to answer my question. If you have an objection, state your objection. That's fine. But it's not for you to re-clarify okay. my questions. So I'm going to clarify. Do you what understand, you sir? Listen. If, do you have an objection? You're going to have. Do we're you have, have an objection, Mr. Reynolds? You and I are going to have a real problem. I'm trying to clarify something you said. Are you going to let me speak or not? Well, no, not if you're going to. It's not for you to okay. clarify my question. Today if you have a question about my question, today is I, you not have the right to, to be clear me. for you to be able to be Mr. clear DeCallum. on you on my, what my question is. What is the most important piece of career advice that Scooter Braun has ever given you? Objection to form. What? <laughs> if if you know. You seem to be getting really off base. These questions. Oh, there's silly questions. You mean like do as well as you can? But whatever is, however he understands the question, whatever is most important to him. So, do you understand my question, sir? You get career. Do you know Raymond Usher the fourth? No. Do you know? An individual entertainer by the name of Usher? Yeah, Usher. That sounds familiar. Isn't it true that Usher is was instrumental in starting your career? What does that have to do with this litigation, Mr. DeCalvo? This is just you, you trying to harass the client. Why don't you get down to business? Your comments are inappropriate. I don't I am so. getting down. Fine. But I'm getting, I am getting into business. I'm asking questions that do pertain to this lawsuit. This sounds like and a I'm 60 minutes interview. I mean, uh, are we going to ask about the issues in the case? No. He Same. wants to make a video Sir. tape so he can distribute it to the media. That's what this is all about. This is DeCalvin's interview. This, this has this to do with the questions that involve this Mr. lawsuit. DeCalvin. Come on, please, sir. Isn't it true that Usher was very instrumental in starting your career? <laughs> that calls for a yes or I, no answer, correct? However, he chooses it to calls respond. For a yes or Wait, I'm just going off your page, man. It's a yes or no answer required, right? I think my lawyer's asking a question. Please, sir. I think my lawyer's asking a question. I'm not here to answer his questions. You're here to answer mine. Okay. Do you need the question read back? Yeah, let's read it back. I'm pretty aware that um calls for a yes or no. Is it Yeah. Was your answer yes? Yes. I'm really sorry to keep asking you this, but can you please speak up? I think yes and no are fucking pretty pretty different. Hold on. Hold on. Let's take a break.
Okay, let's take a break. Oh, I'm sorry for letting this man get to me before I go back. Before we came back here, you would ask me. She's gonna read let, let her read back the question. Thank you for your memory. I was found on YouTube. I think that I was detrimental to my own career. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you at all. I'm sitting right next to you. Okay, so that I think I was instrumental well, to my own career. Well, let me hear back from the report reporter. Instrumental. I think I was instrumental to my own career. Thank you, sir. But my question was, was Usher, was he helpful to your professional career? Yes. Is Usher a close friend of yours? Yes. Is Usher a confidant? Um, I guess, yes. Has Usher given you career advice? Is this um, an interview or a deposition? I'm confused. Please, sir. I'm just confused at whether this is an interview or a deposition. I mean, what does it matter if he's a confidant? I mean, what, I, Listen, I don't if you, understand. If you, have, if you instruct him not to answer, that's fine. If you want to make an objection, that's equally as fine. Okay. But I need you to stop talking. It's inappropriate. No, I think your questions are inappropriate. This sounds like some sort so of 60 minutes in interview. Instruct him not to answer, if, okay. that, if, if that's if, your position. If you're going to keep going with this line of questioning, we'll just break the deposition and move for a protective order. It's harassing. We can get the, we can get the magistrate right back on the phone or the judge. Can you pro-offer how that's reasonably calculated to lead to admissible evidence? <clears throat> Pardon me goes to his credibility. Yes. That's that's not admissible evidence. Please, listen. If you want to object, fine. I'll if let you, you, if go you want to a couple more questions, but... Please, sir. I, I just want to speak. Well, Whether well, Usher's a confidant goes to his credibility? Sir. Is Usher a confidant? Usher being a confidant doesn't credit my credibility. He already answered that question. He already asked it, Mark. Asked I did it's you already not. said yes. Please, Come on, move on. Are you instructing him not to answer? Move on. Are you instructing him not no, to answer? No, I'm not. Okay, fine, sir. He already answered. Is Usher a confidant? He already answered that question. He said yes previously. Are you just going to keep re-asking him the same he, question? He didn't. I didn't hear a yes to the confidant. She can read it back. He, he, I he asked him yes. if Usher was a friend. I, no, you didn't. I never you asked him if he was a confidant. He said yes. I remember you saying it. Fine. That was definitely asked before that question. It was well, what was your answer? answer? Please. Remind me of your answer. No. It seems like a 60-minute interview. Have you ever spoken to Usher about how your bodyguards should handle photographers? No. Is there a difference to you, sir, that there's a difference between a photographer or a paparazzi? Did you not get my no, or was that not received? No, no. I, I didn't, I, I didn't get said no. no. You refer to paparazzi as paps? I refer to paparazzi as you know, many different names. Do you sometimes refer to paparazzi as paps? Yeah. Yes. Are you aware that your bodyguards have ever gone after paps? Have you told your bodyguards to go after Paps? No, sir. Have you ever told your bodyguards to take care of a Pap? No, sir.
Okay. Let's go off the record for a second. I want to show up, Clint. Okay. We're not going off the video record. It is now 11.39. Would you please look at the film that's up there? Go ahead and start. This is a film. Please show This is a film. Pause it. Would you please watch the television? Uh, you, you said it's a film. You said watch the film. Is this a film? Is this? A, is there a difference is this between a film? a film and something else? Yes. Okay. Would you please watch the screen and see the images that appear on them? Please, sir. First of all, before we start, you see the individual with his back to us? Yes. Do you know who that is? Yes. Who is that, sir? That's Dwayne. Dwayne who? What's his last name? Dwayne. It's Dwayne. Sorry. Is that Dwayne Patterson? It's Dwayne, man. Do you know if his last name is Patterson? I don't know. I just know him as Dwayne. Okay. Is he your bodyguard? I just know him as Dwayne. Is he your bodyguard, sir? Is who my bodyguard? Dwayne. That we see in the picture. Is that is he your bodyguard? Yes. Okay. He's one of your bodyguards, correct? One of them. Okay. How long has he worked for you? Long time. Please watch the images on the screen. Go ahead and start. Can we just play it through? Is, what is Dwayne doing in this image right now for you? Can, can you? can you tell me whether this is an exhibit right now? Is this an exhibit? It's the plainest one. Okay. Please, sir. What is Dwayne doing for you? Dwayne is securing me. Okay. Do you recall where this event that we're watching in Plaintiff's One is occurring? Is this 60 minutes? <laughs> I don't, I'm so confused. I'm still confused. Is this an incident? Please, sir. Do you recall where, where this was? Sh uh, this footage was shot? Miami. Thank you. And please play. Please pause it. Did you hear yourself say, Dwayne, get this pap out of here? Yes. Okay. What did that mean? Just meant get the pap out of here. And which meant f to me, um, you know, just, just back him up as the fans were trying to take pictures with me. Um, nothing aggressive by that. Why did you tell him that? I just told you why. Isn't it true that you knew your, your bodyguards were using physical force against photographers? I'm sorry, on that video? Yes, on that, on that video. Please, sir. No, sir. You know that your bodyguards chase paps sometimes to get them out of wherever you want them out of. Isn't that true, sir? I don't tell my security how to do their job. They don't tell me how to do my job. Is it true that you know that your security guards will punch, grab, and push PAPs if they need to? I object. I'm sorry? Did you hear the question again, sir? Why don't you re-ask it? Why don't you replay it back? No, sir. Isn't it true you know that they've done that in the past? No, sir. Yeah. Isn't it true, sir, that you've seen your bodyguards chase photographers right in front of you? No, sir. Isn't it true that you've been personally involved in taking film cards from photographers? No. Okay. Let's stop. I'm going to play what's I'm going to mark as plaintiffs too. Okay. All right. Would you like to um, watch it first? 
Sure. Isn't it true that I was involved in... <laughs> Wait, hold on, there's no question. Are we off the record? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, we're off the record. Yeah. Right. No, we are. Am I going off the video record? It is now 11.50. All right, let's check. Who do your bodyguards work for? My bodyguards work for my company. What's the name of your company? Bieber Time Touring. Sorry. I need you to speak up, sir. Bieber Time Touring. Is that a United States company? Yes, sir. Okay, where is that company registered? I'm not sure where it's registered. That's done by my business manager. Okay, what's your business manager's name? Solomon Smallwood. I need you to speak Solomon, up. I can't Solomon you. Smallwood. As that, that's just uncomfortable. Okay. Plaintiffs, too. In what answer. sense? In taking care of your security. In taking care of my security? What, yes, what does that mean? You recall when you told me... In taking care of my security. Sir, there's no pending question. Listen to my question. Do you recall... There's no pending question. Listen to my question. Right. Do you recall looking at Plaintiffs 1, the video of you taking pictures with your fans? And recall. Dwayne Patterson was securing you. I don't recall. You don't recall something we watched 20 minutes ago? Mm-mm. Is that a yes or no? Would nope. Be, no? Great. Let's play back play us one. On, on the movie. He doesn't, Are we going to go through this again? He doesn't recall something he watched 20 Can minutes ago. Can you just ago. move forward with the question? Come well, on. I, I could if he just wouldn't forget things that he doesn't has seen like just 20 minutes ago. I want you to watch this okay. again. Pause, please. Sir, do you recall watching this video a few moments ago? Yes. Great. And do you recall telling me that Dwayne Patterson was securing you? Mm hmm Yes? Yes. Yes. Do you ever give instructions to Dwayne Patterson or any other bodyguard instructions on how to secure you? Yes. Okay. Please, sir, tell me how you have given your bodyguards directions on how to secure you. By how do you mean verbally and writing? I'm understanding. Well, let's get Sorry. to it. Sir, do you understand the question? Yes. Okay. Would you please answer? Verb verbally? And what do you tell them verbally? Like that. What have you told them verbally on how to secure it? What have I told my security? I, I didn't hear your response. I, again, sir, I'm, I'm you know, complete, you know, I'm I didn't, fin I didn't finish my, I didn't finish. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I oh, oh, interrupt. What, really? You didn't want to interrupt. Please, sir, answer my question. I'm pretty sure we've been on this same question for about two hours now, so... I, I think, I mean, this isn't really going anywhere. Do you think we should break for lunch? Sir, do you recall when I asked you earlier if you give your security verbal commands on how to secure you? Yes. Okay. And you told me that you did, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How do you verbally command your bodyguards? Just, um, how do I verbally, in what, there's so well, many what different, there's so many different scenarios, so many different contexts, and, you know, tell them various things. Okay. Well, what's something From, you... You know, help me with my bag to open the door to various things. Thank you, sir. And what about securing you as far as instructions that you give your bodyguards? Besides asking them to get your bag and open the door for you. As far as securing me? Yes, sir. Making sure my safety is not okay. risk. And what sort of safety commands do you give your bodyguards? 
to make sure you're not at risk. I don't recall. Well, can you ever remember a time in any situation where you've given your security commands? Yes. To protect your security? Yes. yes. Okay, please, sir, tell me those times. Earlier on today. Okay. Please tell me about that situation earlier today. What happened? My security walked in front of me. I told them to take one step ahead. Why did you tell him to take one step ahead? He was too close. How does that put your safety at risk because your bodyguard was too close to you? Um, I can't be tripping on any heels. We go and we move fast. How about any instructions verbally that you give your bodyguards? How about... In regard to circumstances involving third persons. Do you ever give them verbal commands regarding your safety? No, I'll call. Have you ever fired a bodyguard? Yes. Yes. How many times? I don't recall. Why have you fired a bodyguard previously? I don't recall. Have you ever requested a new bodyguard? ever told your bodyguards on how to deal with PAPS? No. Is that a no? Yes, sir. Can you fire a bodyguard if you want? As I said before, firing and hiring is discussed by my team. Is there, do you have the ultimate decision as far as your team is concerned? We discuss it as a team. several times. And, How were they harassing you? Um, calling me names and getting in, getting in my way physically on purpose um, to get a reaction out of me. Um, I let them, you know, get a reaction out of me. Um, as you can see, that's a reaction. Um, as you can also see, there's... You can't see me physically hitting anybody. In that, in that tape, you just see me. What sort of names were they calling you? Um, I think audibly you could you can hear the names. What did you hear? I heard cunt. I heard um, you know, m multiple dirty words that I just don't feel comfortable saying right now. And all those words were directed at you? Yes. How do you know? I guess I don't know. But it got you upset, correct? Yes, it got me upset. Like any human. I'm sorry? Like any human. I have emotions. Sometimes I, I don't always keep them intact. In your opinion, do photographers have the right to take your picture? Yes. I don't know if that's a statement or a question. It's a question, sir. Can you answer my question? Justin, do you need a break? 
No, he's just thinking. Sorry, this is just frustrating. I've never had to go through anything like this. I ask the same questions over and over in a different manner. It's just, I'm not used to it. Can guess what? Question? Guess what? I don't recall. You don't recall if you if you understand my question? Please, Madam I don't recall. Play it back. All right, I think he needs a break. Let's just break for lunch. Okay? Sure. It's fine. Not going up the fine. Have you ever disciplined Mr. Hesney? Disciplined. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> is he my son? Mr. Hesney works for you, correct? Yeah. Okay. So Disciplined. Yes, sir. Has Have you ever disciplined Mr. Hesney? Or, uh, or anything he's done work-related? No, I don't discipline people. Okay, who does discipline your bodyguards if they do something that you don't approve of? That's beyond me, sir. And I don't think my... I don't even... It's not even that they get disciplined. What do they get? Objection. Did I say something funny? You don't need to argue with the witness. Do you want to state your question again? Is there anything funny in my question as to why you were laughing? What, what is your question? Should we have it read back? Well, I don't know, Katie Couric. You tell me. Are you calling me Katie Couric? No. Is this a, a news interview for you? Because it's not. It's your deposition. Do you understand that? Yes. But I see what you're doing. <laughs> How often is Hugo Hesney paid? I'm sorry, how often is he paid? Is it I Yes. Paid? Yes. Paid for what? For his secure for acting as your security bodyguard. Uh, I don't know. Who would know? I don't know who would know. Would the company that hires him know? Yes. Aren't you part of that company? Yeah. But you don't know, correct? No, nope, I got no idea. You know how much he's paid? No. Nope. Who would know? I don't know. What's your role in the company that pays him? I don't know. Thank you, sir. What's hard about being in this position? I mean, you just two seconds ago asked me if it was like Give me an interview. That's what it feels like. I don't feel like this is fair. I don't, I mean. What's not fair? Do you have to give your deposition that's not fair? No, not that. I don't think it's fair, the questions that you're asking me over and over again. I don't think it's It's probably because they have nothing to do with the case. They don't have anything to I do understand. with the case. Uh, make, please make obje objections, Mr. Weissman, if you have objections. Do you know if this lawsuit is about you instructing your Bodyguards to meet up with the top. Yes. You see my client in the back of the room? Mr. Binion? How would he know who Mr. Binion is? I, I mean, now I do. <laughs> you ever recall seeing this individual before? No. You recall being at, You said you recall being at the hit factory on June 5th, 2013, correct? He didn't testify to that. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, so I remember being at the hit factory multiple times that said that. Do you remember walking into an IHOP in December of 2013? I don't remember. Do you remember dining at an IHOP in December of 2013? I don't know. I don't remember. Was that response? I don't remember. I don't recall. Do you recall that your bodyguards roughed up a photographer at the IHOP at any IHOP ever? I don't recall. 
recall being in Seoul, South Korea? I don't recall. You remember being on Miami Beach in January of this year? I don't recall. You recall going to a nightclub in Miami Beach? I don't recall. Never? I don't recall. You were being in Australia in November of 2013? I don't. You remember being in Australia ever? I don't know if I've been to Australia. I've been to Australia? Do you know how many times Dwayne Patterson has confronted photographers in public? I don't recall. Okay, I need a break for two minutes. Why? Can you just do it? Can you just look? I mean, we might as well keep going. I need a break for two minutes. All right, all right. Am I going on video record? Or does it Let me just ask you this. Remember earlier, today when I asked you? No. Why don't you listen to what I have to say first? And then maybe you'll tell me yes or no. I don't have to listen to anything you have to say. Let's, let's not argue. Go ahead. This is your deposition. And at the beginning of your deposition, I told you, I asked you if you had taken any medication within the last 24 hours and you said no. Do you recall that? Yes. Since I asked you that question this morning, have you taken any medication between then and now? No. Have you had? Have you used any drugs between that, the time I asked you that question earlier and now? No. And you're not under the effects of any mood or mind-altering drugs right now, are you? No. Xavier Smith? Do I know Xavier Smith? What kind of question is it? Yes, I know Xavier Smith. Do okay. you remember him coming to you, with you, to Miami no. last year? No. Do you remember being in Miami at any point in time with Xavier Smith? At any point of time with Xavier Smith? Last year. I don't recall. Okay. How long have you known him? I've known Xavier Smith for multiple years. Why was he involved in the incident in this lawsuit? I'm so not to my understanding that he that he even is involved with this. Okay, he also goes by Little Wayne, correct? No. I beg your pardon, Little Za. No. Do you know him as another with another name? Yeah, that's Zay. I beg your He goes by Zay? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. Full name is Xavier Smith. You know Christopher Lynn Moore? Yes. Was he with you in Miami last year? I don't recall. You got Selena Gomez? Yes. Would you be dating her at some point in time? What's the relevance of that? Why are you asking that question? I'm because I'm allowed to ask. No, you're not allowed to just make absolutely. Up stuff and ask it. What are you talking about? It sounds like you're trying to harass him. Be a lawyer, man. Stop making journalism. This isn't journalism. What is what is the relevance? What's your pro Have offer? Have you ever What's your if pro you have an objection, state your objection. What's your pro offer of relevance on that? Sir. Have you ever talked with Selena Gomez and discuss your feelings about paparazzi with her. Don't ask me about her again. Sir. Move have on to another. Have you don't, ever, don't, don't, don't ask me about her again. Ever don't ask me about her again. Have you ever Don't ask me about her again. Don't ask me don't ask me about her again. Wait, let's take a break. You know what? Just stop. You gotta take a break. Don't ask me about her again. Your client's not asking for a break. Don't ask me about her again. Let's take a break, Justin. Now going back to the video record, it is now three oh two. We're now back on the video record, it is now three ten. Have you ever discussed your feelings with Paps? Strike that. Have you ever discussed your feelings about Paps with Selena Gomez? 
instruct you not to answer the question that's intended to cause annoyance, embarrassment. <coughs> He's not going to answer. You can ask the next question. Have you ever discussed with Selena Gomez how to handle <coughs> paparazzi? Instructing not to answer, intended to cause annoyance, embarrassment. Isn't it true that you were with Selena Gomez when a photographer was attacked? Instructing not to answer, intended to cause annoyance and embarrassment. 